All right, I'm moving ahead because I want to. Again, I'm anxious to try to get this thing up and running in its condition. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do, it looks like I'm in, going to install some of the motors for the Z-axis and uh, some of the electronics. I'll just go to show you real fast. Um, there are five stepper motors that come with this kit. Four 2.6 kilogram per centimeter or something like that, if you understand metric. And then one 4.8 or whatever. I was concerned that I wouldn't be able to tell the difference, but it's oh so obvious. Um, again, one's already on the extruder, and that's one of the weaker of the five. You can see in this box, and this is how it was shipped, there are three obviously the same size and one much larger. This one will be for your um, Y axis, that Y carriage um, piece that I just built. Uh, much stronger, almost twice as strong to move parts around, including the carriage. It only makes sense that you would put the strongest motor on the, the in the area that would, or the axis that would have to move the most weight. So. That makes sense. So I'll be taking two of these um, out right now for purposes of making the um, Z axis and uh, the power supply and all the rest uh, here shortly. So I'm going to start following along with the videos. Um, I'll make any notes of anything that seems strange and report back. But uh, yeah, I'm keeping going. <laughs>